Okay, I'm back with more. So, hopefully y'all can hear me out there. All right, so Double XL has dropped. Uh, you know they they've they've done the uh their newest issue of the Double XL freshman and everything like that, and there are some familiar faces that I know and some people who I'm like, who, who's that? No disrespect to anybody who likes whoever the some of these people are but i don't know everybody on the double x double xl has been on the de decline in my opinion because God, they keep on putting they either keep on putting people i don't know on there or they just put people who don't need to be there like there are people who are like like everybody's talking about coyler ray and how her freestyle was this and that um i'm we definitely gonna get into that uh but right now we're just gonna look at a few of these names on here, I know like three names on here. That's Coyle Ray, Moray, and DDG. I don't know who this La Kia is that right? La Kia? I don't know who she is. Uh, but you know, we're just gonna check it out. We're gonna see. Life short, put this clip as longer than Jamaican hair. Never have I claimed to be a gangster, but it's safer here. Yeah. Put this pistol in my hand, I'm protecting all these bands. They be fucking up the brand when I lend a helping hand. So I gotta be alone, make the money on my own. If it's smoke, then meet me man to man, nigga, fuck us on. Now we live in luxury, that's just, just a summary. In the line of fire, trust my brother, he gon' cover me. Yeah. Internet trolls and the critics really under me. Had to realize they only popping just because of me, they okay. stressing me. Why my bitch be tripping, she be testing me. I don't know that bitch, it ain't my fault that she be texting me. Yeah. Why you just can't cook? Give me kisses and have sex with me. Yeah. Do you get upset when I'm annoyed and give you less of me? Fuck. I don't know. What the fuck that I'ma do with you? I know you stab me in my back, but I'm so cool with you. Cause when coming to the racks, they don't know who is who. Ooh. Niggas switch up for the dollars. I be trying to be positive, but the drama. It be constantly following on my mama. But I guess it's the side effects of the commas. Gang. Okay. Life short, put this First of all, DDG actually, I actually like that. Wasn't bad. Uh, to be honest with you, DDG don't even need to be on Double XL. I know he's trying to be taken serious as a rapper, no pun intended, because he has a song called Take Me Serious. But, I mean, he's literally made a career off being on YouTube, and I feel like he can do without some of the some of the things that some of these newer artists go through to become, you know, I'm saying like known or notarized. I feel like DDG don't really need the don't need the approval of the industry. He has the internet's approval already. That's what I mean. I feel like yeah, people call him a YouTube rapper, but bro, YouTube YouTubers, I mean, he already knows from experience. YouTubers make fat stacks like hella money already so i mean and you're already like very known by the internet like bro he's ddg regardless of what anybody wants to say he's a legend he's a legend in his own regard bro like in a in a in a world of like youtubers who wasn't really it wasn't really that many youtubers to begin with black youtubers to begin with in the beginning and he was one of the ones he's like one of the He's one. He's one of the foundations of uh, s uh starting it off for black YouTubers, and then being a rapper, like bro, he was already he was rapping and being a YouTuber when it wasn't cool at all. So I mean, I I just think for me and it for me in general, I feel like it's like almost kind of like it's like it doesn't even it doesn't for me it doesn't make sense for somebody like DDG as big as he is to be on double xl because he's already known and you know he can he can get the attention of fans through the internet it's 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 for him it's not that that difficult moving on let me put this sound back on Lies, they only pop it just because all right it's a kid, the biggest flex of YBIC. I'm okay. different from all these niggas. Ask Coach XP. I got the top niggas vouching for a bitch like me. I touch the shit I get for bookings way before QC. I'm feeling like I can't be fucked with. I don't mean to be cocky, but the competition ain't switching up the flows of the topics. Chrome hearts all on my body, bless more hoes than a profit. All them bitches counting my pockets, so 
don't drop a deposit. I'm fly as a pilot. New season, the off Indian product. How the fuck she a freshman when she dropped out of college? And how the fuck she go so hard when okay. she look like a model? Buy a bitch life. Legally, I can't even buy me a bottle. They know I'm a problem. Got these bitches out here trying to step it up. Couple hating bitches hating on me since I leveled up. Catching more G's than them Z's. Bitch, I ran it up. Leave a broke nigga to the streets. He can never fuck. Yeah, so all these bitches is in trouble now. My name hold weight around this bitch. I'm like a hundred pounds. Chain cost a hundred thou. Vicky let off a hundred rounds. Yeah. Let the bag talk. Ain't gotta tell him how I'm coming now. Wow. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm not familiar with who this Lakia uh, rat uh, girl is. But, you know, that was decent. It wasn't bad. Uh, it sat, in the beginning, it sounded like she was, uh, she's, uh, she signed to, uh, Q, uh, QC. QC, uh, and, uh, she's affiliated with QC and Coach, Coach K. Uh, so I believe she's either under their management or actually signed to the QC label. She must be like a new, a new artist. She must have newly got signed or something like that because I have never heard of her, like, before this moment in time. But she, that was decent. That wasn't bad. Um, kind of like, uh, kind of expected some of her raps are, were a little, like, uh, some of her rhymes were a little bit expected because you know female rappers kind of they all kind of say I, I'm, I'm not to like i don't really want to put her in that box if she's like an actual spitter spitter but i mean her her lines kind of were a little bit like you know what i'm saying um predictable there's the word predictable her her lines were a little bit predictable when it comes to like you know talking about females finessing and Oh, you you can't you you know what I'm saying you can't f me or anything like that. It was kind of predictable a little bit, but she was all right. That was decent. It's decent. I ain't gonna hate on it. It was decent. All right, now we got the kid Moray. Moray. I had something written but fuck it, nigga, I ain't gon' say it The gun in my hip, I swear to God, I show it, I spray it You niggas better believe what the fuck a nigga saying In the building with all this great niggas, bitch, it's amazing Bitch, double XL, I don't think them niggas ready The balls that we got, these flows, that's super heavy Got Coley Ray, DDG and my homie here She came on show, y'all niggas, but the balls is real, nigga, ain't no fear Fuck it, NC stand up, nigga, two six, man, we the greatest You niggas say who the best, but just me, ain't no debating Fuck it, don't gotta write it, fuck it, I'd rather spit it Niggas talking about tall Ball, bitch, I'm shitting like whoa. What you mean you want the dough? And hey, you niggas talking bullshit, but I'm the one with the flows. Off the top, bitch, this shit is hot. What the fuck you niggas know? If I come outside the strip club, now I'm coming with the poles. Bitch, I say I had something written, but fuck it, nigga. Alright. I'ma keep it real and I'ma keep it honest here. I love Moray. His music is amazing. He's an incredible artist. But he doesn't he doesn't need to be here. I, I, I get that Double XL tries to do this thing where they have variety with the art with with the with the type of artists that they grab. You know, they don't want it to be like too rapperish, too much rappers. They want it to have they want it to be a different uh variety. But to be honest with you, this is just my opinion. I feel like Moray is another one who doesn't need to be on here and could like gravitate to a, a certain core audience without having to you know, be henpecked by Double XL. You know, um, uh, the the freestyle or whatever that was was all right. It wasn't. It's not something. It's not something I, I'm 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 like thinking is like really quotable or anything like that. It, it was all right. It, it 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 was it was okay. You know, he kind of like stumbled a little bit during during this. So I mean could have been a thing where they had to shoot multiple times so it was all right and now we're gonna get to the one that everybody has been talking about by the way the thing says uh who went the hardest and coiler ray is <laughs> coiler ray is, isn't even on here that's just to tell you that that's just to tell you that the the uh rap marathon i don't i don't know what they got going on here so all right we're gonna go to the next we're gonna go to coiler ray coiler ray's and let's see what it was talking about because everybody's been talking about this love it when he say my name yeah. low key that my little sneaky link Ay. yeah i love when he fuck me to the ba he a freak fell in love with me let's go Ooh. watch us all get lit Ay. watch us all get rich yeah. Ay. couple niggas move bricks uh. couple niggas hold sticks uh. but you love my butter my butter to me Ay. my wrist Ay. that is see yeah hey we all get money yeah 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 bitch we all get money yeah yeah we all get money, yeah, 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 bitch, we all get money, let's go, ayy. Huh. We all the money, ayy, shaggy, sorry, we 
Okay. It wasn't that bad. I ain't even gonna lie. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't bad. I liked it. It's kind of awkward with more rage singing in the background. Uh, but uh, other than that, it was it was fine. I mean, but she's a like I said. I, I feel like she's another one who doesn't need who doesn't need double XL. She got popping without double XL. It's like, what does she need double XL for? She got popping. She has like the number one song in the country. You know, no, uh, that that song, I, that that song to me is kind of annoying. But you know, it's it's the number one song. It's one of the top of bill. What is it? Billboard one hundred songs, and it's it's a top song in the country. No, to the pain. It's an you know, it's an annoying song to me. I keep hearing um keep hearing it. But uh, yeah, she's another one. Like I said, she's another one who doesn't need double XL too much because she was already she already blew up off of just people wanting to hear the song she blew up i to be honest with you i feel like she blew up off of tiktok as well you know tiktok tiktok does does numbers that you know won't matter won't really won't really matter to uh you know billboard and everything like that is important and charting and everything you know if you like numbers but i mean i feel like tiktok if you break if you, if your song is is on TikTok, you're valid, and she got valid off of TikTok. So it's like, what does she need double XL for? For real, for real. But I mean, hey, uh, if I had to pick one person who did the best out of all of these, it would be DDG. DDG probably did the best, and I'm sure it was written and everything like that. But yeah, he probably did the best out of everybody here. Um, second place would probably be the Lakia chick. She was pretty, she was pretty nice. Um, and if I had to choose between Moray and Coyle Ray, um, I'd probably pick Coyle Ray. Just because, you know, Moray just, I don't know. I don't know. He, his was alright, it's just it wasn't, it wasn't anything amazing to talk about. He's, he's, you're putting, you're putting, you're putting two artists and two rappers in here who, actually spit you know what i'm saying and n like no disrespect to uh moray he's an incredible artist I'm sh his pen is disgusting his singing is sounds very natural um coyle ray as well no disrespect to her but i mean they just don't even they don't need to be here and ddg d doesn't really need to be here either the lakia chick is probably the only one who really needs it more than in who really needs to be up here on this on this uh double xl thing more than anything so yeah that's the end of the video man what did y'all think uh just keep giving your uh you know give me your opinion what do you think um what's you know what say something in the comments like comment subscribe and uh, pay your bills pay your bills and i'm gone